Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer. Now, he was not a good guy that sells ice cream. He was a voice that was crying from the wilderness. And with that voice, this is what God wants to achieve with the voice. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. It is with that voice that he will prepare the way of the Lord. With that voice. People that are actually desiring to encounter God, that have been edged out because there are systems of priesthood that have obscured God and the only thing that they emboss is self and humanity. God equips a man with a voice so that he can have the capacity to prepare the way to give people an opportunity to see God again. That's the reason for which God will give you a voice. If you are desperate to ensure that God must be seen, then the tool he gives you to implement that intention is a voice. A time came in the church in Nigeria where most of what we call ministry was customer care, was management, was marketing. The souls of men started becoming lean. And when such a thing happens, God looks for someone that he can put the spirit of Elijah upon. Because part of what the spirit produces is a voice. That can prepare the way so that men can meet face to face with God. There is no greater need in the body of Christ than that kind of a voice. People are crowded out with all kinds of philosophy. In fact, I was hearing a pastor preach. He lifted notes from psychology class directly. From psychology class. And if you don't know those terminologies, you will think it's one deep thing. It's, it's psychology language. He just lifted it and then came out sounding deep to people that don't know substance. He can bamboozle people with that for a while. But when you leave, your spirit will be lean. And the little light you came with can even be snuffed out. So that kind of a ministry is an obstacle in the way of the Lord. As long as people attend to it, the, the, the last strand of the sight of God that is in their heart stands a chance to be snuffed out. But John the Baptist was given a voice so that the way of the Lord can be prepared, so that people can access, people can see. Ah, I say, okay, this is it's a recovery kind of mission that puts God on the scene. Spirit of Elijah. That's why conferences like this need to be put in place. Maybe you are in a dungeon somewhere and you have, there has been no light. And then God uses an invitation like this to bring you to a space where the elements that control your measured Christianity are no longer in, in active, active force. Then he shows you light. They can take away your coat of many colors, but the things you see with the eyes of your spirit, no one can ever take. So the voice prepares the way. It's as if the voice becomes a construction system. So that God can be seen again. There's one prayer I will never stop praying. Is that God be seen through my words, through my actions. God be seen. For ten years of my life, God decided that I will be hopping from campus to campus just to make him known. He must be seen. And because in campus, campus to campus ministry happens not to be uh, financially lucrative. So you need to arm yourself with, you send them money, they are are organizing something, you send them money to help them organize. And then you fly in with your own resources. And you fly back. So you spend money for the organization. And I went around Nigeria six times in ten years.
with prayers on my lips. And with all the effort that I've been put in place, if you are not seen, we failed. Sometimes you come to the pulpit and then he just changes your sermon. It's so that he can be seen. That's the reason for which he gives you a voice. Like today I came with a, with, with a thesis. And then my brother now preached. And then my thesis was now becoming slim. I tried to hold it. It was vanishing. So I stopped struggling. If what I want to achieve is that he might be seen, you leave your thesis. And you climb into the new possibilities that the grace of God is making available. You are navigated into the present revelation position of the spirit. And you begin to. Things are handed out to you. Things that you did not learn. Things that you were not taught. Things that you did not study. And in that he is seen. So John the Baptist was just existing to provide platform for God to be on display. That he might be seen. 